Police one sent over 30,000 people go by Elsa for governorship election. FCT ministerial tax team now don't demolish illegal toilets for Nyanya area of the FCT. Anambra state government now don't put the time where we say fuel tankers fit move for inside the state. And the Kanu state government don't approve death penalty for kidnappers. Now welcome and good evening on top and that was over max tv this now as it take happen my name now adati onkwe on top the first story where bc i carry come the cardinal division of the court of appeal on friday don't cancel the election of abdul Mumini jibril of the apc where they represent kiru bebeji federal constituency for the house of representative and as a matter be, the court don't give INEC order to do fresh election between Ali Dati of PDP and Abdul Mumini Jibril of APC within 60 days. And at this one, we'll carry us into the next story. We still consign matter of election. The Inspector General of Police now will be Mohammed Adamu. He talks, say the police now go send like 31,041 policemen go by Yelsa, while 35,200 now he then go send now go Kogi State for the November 16th governorship election. Oga Adamu been yan this one on Friday for inside Abuja for the INEC quarterly meeting with Interagency Consultative Committee on top election security. In court, they give assurance, say the police now go do their work and say them no go look anybody face at all at all, no political party or any candidate, say them no go look their face. In second year, say them no go smile put for vote buying and for any bege for inside the election. of the security challenges in the two states and we have made adequate provision in terms of personnel and logistics to overcome any security challenge <coughs> that will manifest. In Bayelsa State, we are deploying about 31,041 personnel to cover the election. In Kwegi State, we are deploying about 35,200 personnel to cover the election. All those areas will be mine. The security of the INEC materials, election materials, are guaranteed by this deployment. Even as I see the young for there, the representative of the National Security Advisor, Ogasanusi Galadima, he gave assurance saying now the commission done ready to put eye on top of the security joint body them, plus including INEC officials for the Kogi and Bayelsa election. Him see tell politicians now say for inside the two states, say make them no cause any trouble at all. Is fully monitoring what is going on before, after, and during the election. It's therefore calling on all politicians in the two states to maintain peace and ensure that the election. The chairman of INEC, Webi Mahmoud Yakubu, he and say make as he be so now saying they very sure and he get confidence. Say security John bodies them go do the work where they're supposed to do. On our part, INEC is committed to the integrity of the process. Over the last seven months, we have been working assiduously to ensure that we conduct credible elections. We cannot undermine the processes we have so laboriously established. We are equally confident in the assurances we have received from the security agencies. And for inside the next story, EFCC now don't talk to them, they touch light NGOs where BC did they operate for northeastern part of the country. The acting chairman of the EFCC, Ogai Ibrahim Magu, Nahim Yan this one, and he called it Yan as in a talk for inside the meeting where they get with stakeholders for inside Abuja on a Friday. Ogai Magu talks to this touch lighting now, they important to take of say the activities them of some of these NGO in no pure for eye at all. Now we will extend our investigation to doctors who connive with criminals and give them fake yes. medical report. Yes. I think we have to go after them. Yes. Yes. They, they must meet up. Uh, completely false. 
there is a way they can even get false report from abroad, from the hospital. You know, in the hospital, you can just contact them. They will send you whatever you want. And uh, So I think we should also put them on the spot so that this practice of uh, giving fake medical report will must stop. Yes, must stop. Him still young say as he be so say EFCC now go soon start to the touch light like doctors then where be say they they give with fake fake doctor reports give conny conny people. Ogamago still young say joint body operation with the Federal Bureau of Investigation and FBI now now you can help them to bring out two point four million dollars and where you can help them again to recover like fourteen million dollars from Magomago wire wire transfer. And for inside the next story, we will carry come for inside this evening. For inside the plenty talk talk, where we say country people they yearn on top of this new one, where we say army people want to do now, where they call operation positive identification. Some Nigerians now don't come out on the year and say now something where we say they good and say it will help to stop the plenty badness activities for inside the country. Some of the other people now come the year and give to re people, uh, our to repairing will be goodness and any for inside Abuja on Friday. They talk say this one they very important and say now this one where we say they want to do say they made the army do and well so that they no go fit to disturb people and say make them still do this one sake of say plenty migrants now don't too much for inside the country. They come they talk say make the army now make sure say they no use this one now come they oppress country people. Honestly from the kind of situation we are facing in the country today I think this is one of the basic thing that is required because this country is just like a marketplace everybody just come in and go. So with this now, at least we can cop out all those people that are causing this problem. It's a welcome idea because of this issue of kidnapping, terrorism and what have you. So with that, at least we can know who are true Nigerians and those that are not Nigerians. So we fish them out. Anybody that is running away from this is not a true Nigerian because this thing is for the benefit of Nigerians. It's not for an individual. It's a thing that is for all of us. Identifying yourself as a Nigerian is never a crime. They are not asking you to bring something. They are only asking you to identify yourself as a Nigerian. Even from birth, you have what is called birth certificate. This one that the military is about bringing up, I am 100% in support of it. It's just that it's questionable that it's the military that is doing this. I would have preferred that the entire government, the entire Nigerian system is the one behind this. But the military, well, I hope they won't use it in a negative way. But for the identification, I think it's the right way to go. I mean, should scream. And let them be reasonable with people they are screening. That is the only solution. They should be reasonable. You, if you say make army no, you want to have Boko Haram to ravage your own Nigeria, you can. But let the army be civil with people. And uh, at least we will get it right this time. And if army can be civil. Sometimes you find out that uh, wrong people enter this country, especially during elections, and you don't know who is who. Someone comes from Niger and tells you he's a Nigerian, goes to the polling unit, and is registering. But I think the, the army, it's a good one, if they will not bully and uh, beat people up. It's a good one. They should do it very gently. Still on top of the matter, the talk talk person of army will be Colonel Sagar Musa. In being young for inside the telephone, say make the people no shake at all at all as this exercise they go on. Say they no go use them to take worry country people. Positive identification is intelligence driven. It's not uh, an independent operation. It is an integral part of the operation that is ongoing in the northeastern part of Nigeria, in Borno State, Yobi, and Adama. And the essence of that operation is to effectively apprehend fleeing terrorists that are coming out from the bushes of the northeastern part of Nigeria, arising from the pressure that the security agencies are putting on in the fight against terrorism and insurgency in that general area. I assure Nigerians, you will not notice any difference. There will not be checkpoints the way people are expecting it to say, uh, as to harass people, nothing of that nature. All that is happening is that this operation is not a separate operation of its own. It's not independent. It is an integral part of the operation that is currently ongoing in the northeastern part of Nigeria. And at this one, I go carry us enter the next story where we get. 
FCT ministerial tax team now on top traffic control. They don't demolish illegal toilets they're waiting for Nyanya main market where they beside the bridge along Jikwe Road. As they young give to real people after the demolition, they young say this will the chairman of the tax team will be Ata Ikaro. He talks say this one now will be said and they do. Now part of the effort to clear Nyanya Road to reduce plenty traffic. Our story person will be joining up Emmanuel. Now you get more for this story. Of this demolition, the chairman of this ministerial task team come follow the court warning they give market people and other investors. They made they try get approval from government before they start any project of this nature. One thing that is very fundamental here is that if anybody wants to build a toilet to end open defecation, you can't build it by the roadside. When you put when you put the sock away by the roadside, when you put the sock away by the roadside, that will be hazardous hazardous to the health of those around here. When the team come begin to do investigation, they come find out saying that one man they build this toilet so that people who go feed they pay money, they use the toilet. But the main Kokobi say the man they build this toilet illegally for land when no belong to run, and upon that, he no even go seek approval for government before he start to build this public toilet. This one come make the chairman of the team call the talk say the project no make sense at all as he go follow the contribute to hold up because government don't they try their best to see say people know they spend so much time for that road again. And when we come to this interchange here, we saw intense and severe contravention. And the contravention we had ad addressed today at Yanya uh, is the issue of clearing of illegal toilets along uh, the road shoulders. These toilets are not in conformity with the design and desire of the Development Control Department of the FCT. Now, so the market people too, come the trolley, they give the task team for the demolition of the illegal toilet. The Kone Yan say the team makes sense. So, say, is sweet Jabele. If they can extend it, if it's Yanya, it's not enough for everybody. If to move to other markets, we will go there. If you can go build a build a build because, a yes, it's sure, sure. Little by little. Standard, 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 standard. Since where the FCT minister, Mala Mohammed Musa Bello, arranged this task team, they don't clear all the things where they make people they spend long hours for road when they return back from work. Now, with 15 minutes, they go drive Salele, go their home. And the minister don't they commend the task team for the wonderful work where they don't they do so far. This now, John Emmanuel for Wazobia Max TV. And now that one carries come out, enter inside Anambra State. The now Anambra State government now don't change the time where we say truck will carry petroleum products go they move for inside their state. The Commissioner for Information and Public Enlightenment for inside the state will be done at Dinuba. Now he yarned this one for inside one talk paper on Friday. I think on here now, say this thing where they do. Now sake of the plenty fuel tankers where we say don't they fall up and down for inside the state. He say explain to this decision now sake of how fuel tankers don't display plenty things for the state. And the talk paper now to come talk to say from Saturday will be November 2nd, 2019. Say then go, then will only allow those tankers to move within Anambra State from only 8 p.m. for night, go reach 5 a.m. for morning. And say government now don't direct the state police command and all other security joint body them for inside the state to take better action. Even on top of the matter for there, him still talk, say, make the police no allow them speed past 90 kilometers per hour for all parts of the state. And we shall probably come out for inside that one now. Enter another Tori where we say no sweets for Bele at all. We are seeing plenty properties now and there's some shops now in Dunbarn for inside GSM market for inside Meduguri for Borno State Capital. The market where plenty people know as a Jagol market where they for post office area of a Meduguri town. Now place where we say people they sell and repair GSM plus Sena the biggest computer village for inside the town. The young say the fire been start on Thursday night. Some hours after the people will get shop, they already closed from work, they go house. And they never really talk waiting cause the fire. But some people will be say use IC matter for inside there. Explain say the fire been started from one shop, come spread, enter other shops for inside there. And we see here say federal fire service people come later quench the fire when many properties don't already burn. As the matter be, the Borno state government now don't form committee to touch light this matter and how bad the fire really born. We shall probably come out from inside there, enter the next story for today. This one they happen for inside Kaduna State. Kaduna State Police Command now don't arrest one badness kidnapper and then rescue like eight people where be say that the, one of the person for inside the 13 years old. 
Now for Rigasa for Igabi local government area of the state, now they arrest the kidnapper and another one now for Narai for inside Chikun local government area of the state. The police talk talk person of the state will be Yakubu Sabu. Now him talk this one for inside one talk paper on Friday. Him talk say them arrest the kidnapper now as they arrest the kidnapper. Now he can't help them to rescue eight people where the kidnappers carry keep for different different places for inside the state. And according to Oga Sabo, the kidnapper will be saying name na Mustafa Ibrahim. He they help police now to touch light all those kidnapping matter while other gang members don't run. And we shall probably come up from inside Kaduna enter Kano State. Kano State government now don't approve to die as the punishment for anybody where be seen a kidnapper for inside the state. Now Governor Ganduje, now he give this order. As him be they welcome the nine children where say kidnapper has been carried from inside Kano, come go send them go inside Anambara State. Him still inaugurate the commission where B C Justice Wada Rano Nahimbi Oga for there. Say make them start now to put eye on top cases of people where B C they miss from 2010 go reach today. Him still direct the Minister of Justice to sharply start the process to change the law where B C consign kidnapping and other things where consign abuse on top children. And as it be so, the commission supposed bring back their report to give the government after 30 days. And the governor now done direct say made them sharply give one million naira to each of the nine children. And we sharply come out from inside there. Now business, now we go bring come give you. Make you no go anywhere at all at all. For inside business, Minister of Works and Housing now, Baba Tunde Fashola, he talks about Obunge government now don't they build house where we say people fit to pay for. And now for 34 states now, now they, they do this one for inside the country. Oga Fashola talk this one for inside Abuja on Thursday. When he been asking come and now see them, they construct one federal road project for each state for inside Nigeria. The minister talks that even as then they, they don't complete many of the roads for inside the country, say they see they work on other roads them and say they even get plans to do new ones. Ogafa Shola can talk again through the Minister of State for Works and Housing, will be Abubakar Aliyu. He can add, say, Ogunge government now don't start to do better work for roads where they inside the country. And when they come back with sports story, make you still sit down with us. For inside sports, this one they happen for boxing. And the Reese Jr., he don't come out now, come here and say he no get any plan to kill Anthony Joshua for inside this their match where BC go happen for December. This talk they come after Deontay Wilder, will be heavyweight champion. Don't come out, come here and say in the fear the kind of blow where BC rules they throw. Say in a blow where BC if it kill person. Now like four boxers now we hear say they don't die for this year as them they fight. But Deontay Wilder now, so he not ready to die among those people where he say them will die. And on the rules now, maybe they answer plenty question and answer on top social media. As in fans now, they ask and play through, through and plenty question for inside there. He and say now the punch of God, now he help him to win Anthony Joshua for inside the month of June. Now all the to read them be this, but before we go, make we still look all our top to read them again for this evening. Police now want to send over 30,000 police people to Bayelsa governorship election. And FCT ministerial tax team don't demolish illegal toilets for Nyanya area of the FCT. And Ambara government now don't put time where BC fell tankers fit move for inside the state. And Kanu government don't approve death penalty as punishment for kidnappers. My people now all the to read them with this as it take happen. I make you not forget saying I still was over Max TV now with day inside. My name now Adati Pompe. On a good evening.